first time mom's worst nightmare comes true when her playful two-year-old son Josiah suddenly loses his ability to speak play and socialize and was diagnosed with autism but her heartbreak turns to hope when she discovered Josiah was able to spill out messages of faith on his iPad her experience detailed in her new book it's called Josiah's fire there's the book autism stole his words God gave him a voice Tani Cullen joins us now. I can't even, st I haven't started this interview and I'm getting tears in my eyes. I mean, that's so sweet. Tell me your story. Tell me about your son and what you've gone through. Sure, well, you know, he was developing typically for the first about two years of his life. And then all of a sudden, over about a three week period, he lost eye contact. He stopped responding to his name. He lost play skills. And we really were afraid that we were completely losing him. We wondered what had happened to him. And really, when you get that diagnosis, of autism and you hear no known cause no known cure lifelong and you're staring at a two-year-old boy suddenly you wonder where is hope when there is no hope right so how did you find your hope yeah so we went through all sorts of things all sorts of therapies we threw ourselves into everything we could possibly do medically there's not a lot that's available so we did a lot of biomedical treatment a lot of therapies but really um, it was the breakthrough that we had doing a particular method that for about a year I had been working with him and then all of a sudden one day even though we had kind of marginal success up to that point I I uh, was uh, using the children's Bible to read him a lesson from. And so I was reading about how Jesus healed the blind man. So I said, Josiah, what did Jesus do? Did Jesus H-E-A-L heal the blind man or P-L-A-Y play with a blind man? You write that on a piece of paper, rip the paper in half, tap heal, tap play. And he's nonverbal at this point. And so he, he chooses heal. And then I said, okay, let's spell heal. And I had the iPad up with all the letters. And so he presses G and he was or he presses H he was missing it. Um, it actually he presses G and then O and then he ends up spelling God is a good gift giver Wow! his first ever independent sentence I had never given him those words what did you um, do? I, I thought I was on candid camera honestly I thought I had cracked her was this real it was amazing it was a moment where I really believe and felt that we had a divine experience happen All right, it's amazing that he didn't he didn't speak and now all of a sudden he can read and he can write and send you messages on his iPad the great thing about an iPad is that everything that he writes is saved everything he's ever written is saved on an iPad uh, so by now it's like hundreds and hundreds of messages that uh, you know some are just normal everyday things that he wants ice cream but actually he started writing these beautiful wisdom words and poetry and um, things that are extremely profound and that really has uh, been the most amazing thing for us because uh, not only has he been able to uh, experience real worth mm -hmm. um, but I have been able to see God working where it's like you know no matter what the label is no matter what the doctor's report is I don't need to listen to that as far as what our the opportunities for my son and his future I need to listen to what God speaks over him absolutely beautiful thank you so much for being here God bless thank you God bless that you. precious child of yours thank you have to read her book it's called Josiah's fire a biblical name as well thank you so much Tani Cullen for being here thank you